ahead, of course. Good morning, good morning, good morning. We are heading to an aerial silks class. Oh my God, it's so bright. Um, not me and Jamie. I'm going to go meet up with a friend, Lisa, and we are gonna go try aerial silks for the first time. So we're going there. Jamie's gonna work from a coffee shop somewhere and I'll let you guys know how it goes. I think it's maybe around here. What's it called? Aerial, Inspire Aerial Arts. Okay guys, I just finished the silks class and went to Trader Joe's, did some shopping, I went home and then I'm at the massage place, I'm gonna get a massage. I'm really not a massage person but I feel like I need it because I've been so sore these past couple of days so I'm gonna get my massage and I'll see you guys in the next clips. So I'm in the tranquility room, it's really quiet in here so that's why I'm whispering. Um, I guess they put me in here to help to de-stress me before I go in and get my massage. So I'm just in here waiting, listening to the calming music. Get it calm. Okay, here it is, the massage room. Massages intimidate me, but I'm getting one anyways. Oh my god, you guys, that was so good. So um, I went to this place called Massage Envy and I haven't really gotten like a lot of massages before but um, the ones I have gotten were more like spa type relaxation, just a little bit of oil and rub up rub up massage kind of thing. But I felt like I really needed a deep tissue massage because I've been in a lot of pain and just needed to, shit this camera's falling. Uh, I needed more of a deep tissue massage um, which I did get today and it was really good. Um, I almost fell asleep and I got all the knots out of my neck, shoulders and traps. I got those like, I guess, kneaded out. Um, it was really, really good. I'll probably go back um, in the next couple of weeks. But um, yeah, I enjoyed it. Hey guys, it is around 5.30 p.m. and I got back from my massage. It was so, so good and I could take a nap right now, but I'm gonna cook some fish and some ground beef. So I am cooking up my fish. This is just cod from Costco. And then I'm gonna do some uh, lean ground beef. 
And then I will also show you what I got from cost from not Costco. What I got from Trader Joe's today. I got these from Trader Joe's. And this is riced broccoli and rice cauliflower and I'm super excited about these two things because um, I don't know I could probably get really creative with this so I just put a little bit of this salt free citrus and dill salmon seafood seasoning on it then a little bit of paprika just cause no idea just add a little bit of red I also put squeeze some half of a lemon on top plop plop and add some cinnamon chopped onion garlic Then some Bragg's liquid aminos. It is around 6.30 p.m. and I just finished cooking uh, my proteins that you just saw. Some cod and some lean ground beef. I was gonna cook some veggies but I really can't bother tonight. I'll probably just cook it tomorrow morning. Um, had a really good day today. Went to the aerial six silks class that you saw then i went and got a massage two things that i don't normally do and that kind of make me feel uncomfortable and intimidated and i just kind of wanted to talk a little bit about putting yourself in those uncomfortable and intimidating situations in order to grow one of the things that i have started doing in the past like two years is creating intentional growth for myself by doing things that make me feel intimidated or make me feel uncomfortable. So I'm naturally kind of introverted. Um, I like a routine, I like to stay at home and that's all well and good, but in order to grow and in order to feel inspired, I know that for me, in order to do that, I need to intentionally and purposefully put myself in challenging and intimidating situations um, where you know I kind of just have to ride it through so like this competition prep for me if you've just joined my channel and this is the first video you're watching um, you might not know that I am in preparation for a fitness competition a bikini competition and that is also something that makes me feel challenged and makes me feel intimidated and I'm very nervous and very scared to do it but I know that in order to become that person that is able to achieve the goals that I want, I need to keep pushing myself and I need to keep intentionally putting myself in those kinds of situations. So for example, you know, I used to be afraid of going to new fitness classes, going to new gym classes. When I was a kid, my mom used to sign me up for all these different classes, ballet classes, etiquette classes, um, extra lessons. And I literally used to lock myself in my bedroom and I would not come out because I didn't want to go because I was scared of being around new people and meeting new people and just scared of doing something new. I am still afraid of doing them. I still feel nervous when I sign up for a class. Sometimes when you feel stagnant or you feel like you need to be inspired, it doesn't just drop into your lap. You have to go out and find it and for me that's how I find back my inspiration that's how I get excited that's how I grow and over time that's how I develop confidence to do the things I want to do trying new classes may not make you feel intimidated but it does for me and so that's something that I like to do every now and then and when a good friend of mine reached out to me and told me that she wants to try it too then you know kind of jumped at that opportunity to go and try a new class so that's what we did I feel really good about it and I also went and did a massage which again is not something I would usually do because it makes me feel uncomfortable I have no idea why but having done those two things today I kind of feel accomplished and 
I find that the more I put myself in those challenging situations and write it out, I find more value in myself. If you want to feel inspired or if you want to grow or if you have a goal that you're trying to get to and you feel like you need to become a certain type of person to get there, maybe try something that you wouldn't normally try, do something that you wouldn't normally do, do something that challenges you, do something that scares you, do something that makes you feel intimidated because I promise you, you will find value in yourself because you would feel accomplished that you did it and you would feel good about yourself and find value in the fact that you set a goal, that you, you book something, you signed up for something and you did it. I know the process can be scary. Sometimes you feel like, what if I drop? What if people laugh at me? What if, you know, I don't fit into the class? Just allow yourself to go through those emotions and um, feel weird if you feel weird, feel uncomfortable if you feel uncomfortable and just allow yourself to feel however you feel. And at the end of the day, you wouldn't have died. Nothing bad would have happened. Um, you did it, you went through the process and signed up for something, you booked something and you did it. And um, that's how we grow and that's how we gain confidence and that's how we grow into that person that we want to become in order to do the things we want to do. So let me know in a comment below if you have been curious about anything, if you've always wanted to try something. Um, it doesn't have to be an aerial silks class, it can be anything else, something that challenges you. Let me know in the comments below what it is you're going to try. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and have an amazing weekend. Bye guys!